it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having an incredible day. Now guys, welcome to our end of March indoor cacti and succulent and houseplant collection. Now this is going to be part one. Part two is going to be the polytunnel cacti and succulent plant collection and links up above to that one because I'm going to be putting on these videos at exactly the same time. So this is the indoor house plant collection and part two is our polytunnel and um, things are very good inside the house I'm pleased to say but the outdoor um, with our polytunnel we've got a few losses in there but as I say I don't want to go into too much information check out the video link above after you've watched this video and also the link down below will also be to part two as well with the polytunnel so I'm um, not looking as good in the polytunnel but it's very good indoors I'm going to start off here this is in our kitchen. We've got a lovely big sunny kitchen window and we have a number of plants growing in here and lots of loads of new growth on these indoors. These are some cuttings that Hansi took of his serious, serious cactus here and that's really doing well and that's um, shooting up brilliantly and callousing over so they're going to be potted up in the coming, coming weeks. And um, this is our lovely Euphorbia milli, loads of new leaves on there, loads of growth. That's really healthy and happy. The Euph um, Euphorbia horridas, um, the, sorry, the, yeah, the Euph Euphorbia mammy, mammillaris, I should say. We have two different types here. That is a variegated form and that's the all green one. New growth growing on the top of them, so they're waking up. And um, we have here another little weird Euphorbia in the window. This is a Euphorbia... Shedanandi, <laughs> that is um, got new growth. So they all seem to be pretty much waking up from their winter dormancy. This one here is Kalankoe Marmoriana, some cuttings that we were given from the, the gentleman who works at the Botanic Gardens in Belfast. Loads of new growth on that. So loads happening. Look at this, guys. This is our Euphorbia Tiracali, and it is absolutely thriving. Sorry about the light, guys. I just get, because the sun is coming through and it might be a little bit in shadow. Loads of new growth. It's grown about three inches in the past two weeks, guys. It's huge. Really good to see. And um, loads happening in the window here. This is absolutely beautiful. This is Hansi's begonia. And it is gorgeous. Look at that, the little spotty leaf. This is a begonia. Um, picked up. And it is so beautiful. It's growing like lightning. Here we have some more euphorbias here. Loads of new growth. This is the... Um, patchy podium and that is remarkable really seems to be happy so this is a, the, the windowsill as I say loads of um, loads of new growth with loads of little flowers forming on the euphorbia obesas the euphorbia obesa times globosa as you can see there new growth coming on it so good to see signs of life as I say the indoor plants are really doing well loads of new growth coming up on these these are the dragon fruits we've got here. These we gave a good water the other day and they're fattened up. As I say, these are going to be going into the polytunnel in the coming weeks. And it's although it's end of March, guys, the weather's been horrendously cold for this time of year um, in Ireland and the UK, as I think a lot of Europe has been as well. So everything's sort of been put back a little bit. Normally, these will be sort of going out now into the polytunnel, but we're having to keep them indoors, which is a dilemma because the days are getting longer. But because they're not directly in front of a window, as you can see, these pyloceruses here, they're going to start to go a little bit thin at the top if we're not careful. But sadly, they it's just still too cold to put them out just yet so they're going to have to stay overwintering in our kitchen <laughs> as you can see we've got the big apuncia brasiliensis uh, brasilio apuncia brasiliensis here and um, despite being so far away from the window it does still get some di some direct sun during the day but it's obviously not ideal and it needs to have this time of year needs to have full sun going all on it but we're just not able to put put it out because the weather is just bitterly cold guys and just hope that April is going to be warmer and we're going to start feeling a bit more spring like now but they seem to be doing well in the house anyway the plants and this is the euphorbia milli that um, um, Olga from Olga's Dreamland gifted us and it's been flowering constantly so thank you Olga you see it's doing very well there and guys this is very good news this is one of um Ara, uh, Davalia, I should say, Hansi's Davalia, that a neighbour gave us a cutting off, and it is was actually 
staying there for a good while just as a cutting and look at that new shoot guys it's sending out a new frond so um hans propagated this and i'm pleased to say that is coming into active growth so that's brilliant as i say they're, they're thriving in here doing doing very well and we have um <laughs> The reason why this is on the floor, guys, this is our Serapagia sansonii, but um, we've had to take it off because it's had a few mealybugs and we've been treating it with the isopropyl alcohol, so we're just letting it um, sort of dry off at the moment, but that's pretty, pretty healthy, lots of new growth on it anyway. And um, I'll just show you here, I'll just move my herbal tea out of the way so you don't want to see that, you want to see the plants. Now, these are our ferns and our Calenco Glossfeldianas, and they are thriving, guys. We have a selection of a few different ferns, and they are actively growing. This one here is unbelievable. It just seems to be growing new, new leaves every day, fronds. Really, really happy. And the Glossfeldianas here, these we're going to be potting up into one big pole garden probably in a, in a couple of weeks or so and they're going to be really nice going into the polytunnel because these are quite cold hardy so we don't necessarily have to wait till the weather really warms up for them to go back in there and this one here i'm really pleased to say this adentum has made a remarkable recovery because we sort of went a, literally a day without watering it and it just dried up but um we gave it good good water sprayed it and it's picked up fantastically so that's great news as i say that the indoor plants are doing absolutely amazing so that's the kitchen and i'm going to show you the living room now guys this is our living room here oh hans's music studio i should say he has it lovely and um in the window here we have a selection of chef <laughs> and um some beautiful other houses we have a ficus here also a ficus elastica isn't it commonly known as the rubber plant and this one here is a philodendron just look at the most amazing big leaves on this tons and tons and tons of new growth really loving this position here look at the beautiful leaves guys and chaflera also loads of new growth here loads of new growth on the other chafleras now this one here is absolutely beautiful and so my love what's the name of this plant i keep having it my name keeps losing stephanotis stephanotis floribunda yes. yeah this is um hans's absolutely beautiful plant that he brought over from sweden and it is remarkable it is growing amazing look at that loads of new growth and it has been recently flowering up until a few weeks ago so it's lovely to see another beautiful philodendron there beautiful lots of new growth and our Ripsalis, um, Ripsalis Paradoxa as well, that's sort of sending out some little seed pods as well and signs on here. So that seems to be doing well. That's going to be going into the polytunnel when the weather gets warmer. So everything's thriving in here. So, so far, so good with the, um, with the living room window as well. Now guys, this is our little bathroom window and we have a selection of house plants here. Now, to start off, we have the um, one of our Hoya Kerry heart ones and so far it's still alive. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video I made on these plants, um, do check the video out. I don't really recommend you buy the single leaf for reasons they're not meant to be long lived long term. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how this goes. Now, this is um, an Austro, Austro Cylindro Puncher. Um, that's Subulata that Olga from Olga's Dreamland gifted us. This is rooted as well and sending out new growth on the top. It's doing remarkable. Little Apuntioid here. This is a, some Tradescantia that we grew from seed, that um, from Hans's plant, and that is doing really well. All the seedlings here. Now, this is our new addition to our plant family um, our re that we recently got. This is a Tillandsia xerographica and it's like a big octopus it is gorgeous guys and um, this we, we missed regularly with um, clean rainwater and that seems to be thriving there this is another beautiful serious that um, Peruvianus that Olga again gifted to us so thank you Olga we're keeping it in a jar um, so we can root itself that way but if it doesn't root in the next couple of weeks we'll probably just pot it up anyway now now spring is here and a Calanchoe Lucii also from Olga that's doing well and these are our other Tillandsia air plants and I'll just show you, let to get the light in here, might not be the best 
difficult to get the lighting on here but uh, with the air plants here it's all a few selection ah that's better see what we've got there lovely selection on here of a few different varieties these seem to these are loving this window here in the in the bathroom on the poles get loads of humidity and loads of bright light as well so they're doing well here now this is our plant grow room where we grow some of the plants under light. Now we've got a nice big window here that's south facing, gets plenty of sun during the day. So we keep the lights off here during the day and then we have the grow lights on above the two sides where we grow in the seedlings. As you can see here, these lights have been fantastic, guys. And if you're not familiar with these LED grow lights, I highly recommend them. And I'll actually put um, a link to a video I did on a review on these lights. And please do check them out. Um, I think I highly recommend them. Great value. And they're cheap to run to. And um, I'll put a couple of links down to Amazon, where if you're in the US, you can get 10% off by using the US code. But if you're not in the US, unfortunately, it doesn't apply. But it's there's still great value for about 29, 29 sterling or 29 euro. And I put links above to um, the Amazon.co.uk for Ireland and um, <laughs> the, the rest of the UK as well and the world so there you go that I highly recommend they are great and these are a mixture of seedlings these are all doing very well uh, stapelias are flourishing now I made a separate video on the update on the seedlings so I won't go into too much detail here to keep the video short and um, if you haven't seen that video on the update on the seedlings do check it out guys I'll put links down below and also up above on where the little information sign is if you just hover your your mouse on the top it should come up but if not the links will be down below anyway and loads that I mean just you can see here the mammillaria seedlings are thriving sepelia seedlings are doing really well another little pereskia cutting here this is mainly the room where we have a lot of our cuttings and seedlings in so it looks a little bit of an overgrown jungle in here at the moment but this really is more where we have cuttings and seedlings and as I say a lot of these will be going out into the polytunnel when the weather warms up as well so just to show you we have a bit of a selection of everything we have a window here where we have a few different selection of um, all plants again there. Um, we have lots of, the, the Pinoceros gregii seedlings are doing very well. And it's, a, it's good to see Hansi's um, Matukana Madisonorum has got a lovely bud forming on it. So that's going to be amazing in flower. The bud's getting bigger by the day. So stay tuned for a future video in that beauty flowers, guys. And as I say, everything you can see is starting to really wake up in, in the house. Doing very well. A lot better than the polytunnel, I have to say. Um, and loads of seedlings here. Loads of new growth. Everything is really coming on great. And as I say, I can't get too close because it's a bit of a jungle. Everything is sort of over, over growing in here until we can get them out again for the for the spring, the summer, I should say. Wait till spring already, but it may not feel like it. And this is a Clarodendron um, thombosii. Beautiful bloom. This is absolutely thriving. Just look at the new growth on that, guys. Really, really beautiful. So, so far, so good. We're very, very happy there. And we have the... Um, Ribosalidopsis Easter cactus in flower in bud here and it's absolutely gorgeous. There's some buds down down the back there and also in beautiful, beautiful flower there, which is lovely to see. And um, also our chlorophyte um, um, plant as well is thriving with loads and loads of uh, little babies on it. So brilliant. As I say, we're stuck for space here because we can't wait to get these back into the polytunnel. We have got another polytunnel, a smaller one to go next to the large one. As you can see, that's our big polytunnel out there. And the other little one is going to go next to it. And we're going to put a lot of these in there that we sort of propagate in and um, give us a bit more room for the spring and summer to work with. And this is um, lovely flowers on here as well. Absolutely gorgeous here. So it's so wonderful to see all these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful planty flowers. It's in Patians. And this one was gifted to me by my wonderful friend Rachel, a gardening at Duenza. And so good to see flowering again. So there's a lot, lots going on here in the house. Lots of new growth. And as I say, look at this, guys. These are some of the seedlings. 
Now there's still some signs of no life there. And as I say, I already made a video the other day going into detail on the ceiling, so I don't need to go into too much here. But um, these are Euphorbia canariensis seedlings. They are doing well. And um, Astrophytums here, they're thriving. And the seeds that I grew, the Trichocerea seeds that my friend Jake gifted me have germinated. So I'm very pleased because I only sowed these a few days ago and they've germinated already. So that's really exciting news. I don't know if you can see there through the bag. It might be very hard to see. But you see a little bit of green coming through there. A few little seeds germinated. So um, these are doing very well here. And to show you what else we've got, see if I've missed anything out, because there is so much on here. This is a Hoya Linearis that we have hanging down, and that's a, that's a beauty as well. That's looking looking healthy, but again, still pretty much quiet for this time of year. But it's good to see lots of new growth coming on anyway. Now I mustn't forget to show you the other house plants. I always forget this is our big spider plant that we've had for many years and um, shooting out a little baby here. And that one, as you know, does not have to be directly near a window. It seems to do, seems to be happy here. That's, that seems to be thriving in her. Now this is our other plant room that we've got here. And um, this is where we over, not sort of overwintering as such now because it is spring but these is what the plants we got from Cacteen Hog a, a couple of weeks ago now we did a did a video when we got the delivery probably more probably nearly a month ago if, if now I think about it but they're doing well and we've got these under the grow lights because we have them near a window but the window is sort of north facing so we just get any direct sun so we have the lights on during the day to mimic the sunshine that they need and these obviously are going to be going into the polytunnel in the next couple of weeks or so once the weather starts to warm up but they're doing very well they're actually coming into growth this one here is absolutely wonderful to see this is an echinopsis um echinopsis card carden sienna and that's got beautiful buds all on it so the fact it's coming into bud under the grow lights i have to say very pleased with these grow lights guys loads of new growth on the idria here as well so these are very sort of new plants to us and specialized so it's good to see them they're absolutely thriving i tell you what these lights are brilliant guys a must here in ireland with the with the lack of sun and especially after the going through the winter we've had this is um also more preskiers here different varieties that we've got so we're keeping these separate in a separate room under these grow lights away from our other plants because it's a new obviously for the new delivery for the first month or two um, we don't want we don't know if there's hidden bugs or anything we don't want to spread to other collections so we're sort of keeping them in quarantine as they say but after a couple of weeks they'll be fine then to put with our with our other collection and we've got the Hoya the Hoya um, Heart Kerry the big plant we got there that seems to be very happy there with its beautiful heart-shaped leaves and that's obviously going to be hung up soon um hanging down in a hanging basket but so far so good then we have here in the window we have our zz plant and that seems to be loving it here it's absolutely thriving and uh Hansi here has a few of the plants he's growing here some cuttings this is Hansi's sort of plant room as i say he has a few different ones going on here all doing really well he's great with propagating guys and um they said the press gear here as well god sefiana good little tip that to keep the humidity to encourage rooting because pereski although it's cactus they can be kept treated a bit more like a normal house plant a bit more humidity again selection of different seeds Hans is growing here as well as selection of Mahonia seeds and Camellia seeds and all different things growing on here a few different varieties so it's good to see and um, all seem to be very happy and healthy too Now, last but not least, to finish off in our little bedroom here, we have a selection of ferns in our bedroom as well as in the kitchen. Here they seem to do really, really well because it's a bright window, but because it's north facing, they don't get any direct sunshine. So it's good because it's bright, but not sunny. And the ferns seem to thrive here and a selection of a few different types. And this one here, we have the staghorn fern. I'll just show you the lighting is, is bad because obviously, it isn't always the best with the camera trying to get it in here but um, hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea of what they look like here and this one is our beautiful beautiful um, big Boston fern here that is thriving doing very well and our Divalia with the lovely big furry roots that is doing so well here another uh, Nephrolepis cordifolia here also and another little Nephrolepis a few different selections and as I say our little 
a little lovely fern here as well, which actually isn't a staghorn fern, I call it that, but it's not. It's actually just, just trying to get the, the name of that one now, but um, it is growing happy anyway, and it also has the little, the little furry legs as well on it too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I say, the indoor houseplant and cacti silken collection it seems to be doing remarkably well. Very happy and signs of lots of new growth. But as I say, our polytunnel one, the ones in there are not doing as well. And you'll see why when you watch the video for part two. <laughs> so guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power as always from Ireland and until the next video guys bye